So, hello, my dear students. Now today I am going to teach you the common size profit and loss account. In my last class, I have taught you the preparation of common size balance sheet. Now today I will teach you the preparation of common size profit and loss account. So same like that as I have copied the question from the question, the, the uh, sequence is followed like this. First, number one is revenue from operation. Uh, number two is uh, total income, if there is any total income, so uh, that will be added with the revenue from operation. Your revenue from operation is a net sales, so plus total uh, any other income that will be added, so that will give you the total uh, income. Revenue from operation that is net sales plus other income will give you the total income. Now next is your total expenses, you have to find out like depreciation, amortization, employees benefit expenses, any kind of financial expenses like interest paid, so bad debt, any kind of salaries paid to the employees. So all these are the expenses that has to be um, added here to total expenses. So now uh, we'll find out after after arriving at the total, after getting the total expenses, we'll, we'll we have to find out the uh, profit before tax, that is total income minus total expenses will give you the net profit before tax. If you minus, uh, again, the taxes, uh, tax income tax or tax paid, so you'll arrive at the net profit after tax. So this is the sequence first, revenue from operation and other, other income, you'll get the total income. After that, expenses will be subtract. After tax, you have to find out the total expenses. Total expenses, as I said, so depreciation, amortization, so traveling expenses, salaries, wages paid to the employees, purchase of the goods, this is direct expenses, purchase of goods. Okay, so amortization, depreciation, financial expenses are like um, interest paid, so commission paid are there, so these are the expenses if there is any. So you find a total expenses, after total expenses, you get the total income minus total expenses will get, give you the profit before taxes and after that if you minus tax, so you arrive the profit after tax. So this is very simple, the same way I have copied from the question, so first is our uh, net revenue from operation, first column as, as uh, this is same as comparative balance, comparative profit and loss. Uh, Comparative profit loss second we have done, but here in comparative profit loss second we are comparing the two years data uh, ch changes we are finding here, but we are here we are not comparing, um, but here but here we are doing the common size um, profit loss account, so there is no comparison here. We will not try the changes here. So to, to the first year, as usual, first column is a base year, pre base year, 2017 column and 2018 column. So. In 2017, uh, we have to find a percentage in every each and every item. So you have to find out the percentage, but always percentage is in term of sales, revenue from operation, total re revenue from operations. So now here, revenue from operation is our eight lakhs. So now eight lakhs. So how do you find how do you find the first one revenue from operation on the, in the year 2017? First one is revenue from operation eight lakh. Eight lakh divided by eight lakh into hundred. So if you see eight lakh divided by eight lakh into hundred will be your hundred percentage. How do you find this? How do you find eight lakh is the revenue? Eight lakh is the revenue from operation. Divide the revenue from operation eight lakh into hundred will be a hundred percentage. Similarly, if you see uh, okay one 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 after one year we will complete two thousand seventeen and we will do two thousand eighteen. So again uh, two lakhs is the other income. Other income two lakhs divide by revenue from operation. Revenue from operation is our eight lakhs. Two lakh divided by eight lakhs into hundred. Two lakh divided by eight lakh into hundred will get um, two lakh. Two lakh divided by eight and two by eight means one fourth. One fourth is always a twenty-five percentage. Twenty-five percentage. So here, this will become one hundred and twenty-five. Now next one, purchase in of stock in trade four lakh. Four lakh divided by eight lakh. Four lakh divided by eight lakh means. 4 by 8, 4 by 8 means half, 50 percentage, so 50 percentage will get here, 50 percentage, okay, now in next one, financial expenses, financial expenses is 15,000, 15,000 divided by revenue from operation is 8 lakh, 50. each and every item is divided by revenue from operation, this you have to keep in mind, that each and every item is divided by 8 lakh, 8 lakh is revenue from operation, so 15,000 divided by 8 lakh into 100 will be your 1.88, 1.88. Similarly, next one is employees benefit expenses. So these are the expenses and um, employees benefit expenses. 95,000 divided by 8 lakhs into 100. So uh, we'll get 
get here in terms of percentage 95 divided by 8 lakhs into 100 so that there will be 11.88 11.88 okay then next one is uh, depreciation depreciation is 30,000 30,000 divided by 8 lakhs into 100 so 30,000 divided by 8 lakhs into 100 will get 3.75 here 3.75 so if we add this one 50, point, 50 plus 1.88 plus 11.88 plus 3.75 we get here 67.51 so similarly here next profit before tax again 4,60,000 4,60,000 divided by 8 lakhs 4 lakh profit before tax how do we got how do, how do we got profit before tax profit before tax is total income minus total expenses total income is 10 lakhs Minus total expenses is 5,40,000. So in the year 2017, we got 4,60,000. So 4,60,000 we got for this uh, total income is 10 lakh. Total expenses is 5,40,000. So 10 lakh minus 4 lakh, 5,40,000 will be your 4,60,000 this year. Profit before tax in the year 2017. So total income is 10 lakhs in the year 2017. And total expenses in the year 2017 is 540,000. So 10 lakhs minus 540,000, we get 460,000. So 460,000, if you convert in term of percentage, 460,000 divided by 8 lakh is revenue from operation. 460 divided by 8 lakh into 100, we'll get here 57.49. 57.49. Similarly, again, this is prof not tax. Tax is 4,60,000 into 50% is the tax. So 50% is half. So 2,30,000 is the tax. That is how, how, how we got 2,30,000. That is 50% of 4,60,000. Because tax is given 50%. So 4,60,000, 50% is 2,30,000. So that means tax, you have to minus the tax. So if minus tax, if you see the tax, minus, minus tax. So if you see minus the tax, so we'll get profit after tax is 2,30,000. So tax in term of percentage is 2,30 divided by 8 lakhs into 100. We'll, we'll get here. 28.74 28.74 this is your in term of percentage similarly so again if we add this if we add this one here this is minus so 28.75 28.75 here now this is the 2017 we have already computed the percentage now let's see 2018 2018 also the same process 2018 what is the revenue from operation 12 lakh but 12 lakh you have to see 12 12 lakh so 12 lakh divided by 12 lakh into 100 12 lakh divided by 12 lakh into 100 first one is always coming 100 percentage so now 100 percentage second one 3 lakh divided by 12 3 lakh 3 lakh in other expense, other lakh, other expenses is 3 lakhs. 3 lakhs divided by 12 lakhs. Then 3, 3 fourth. So 3 fourth means here, 3, uh, 3, 1 fourth. 3 by 12 means 1 fourth. That is also coming 25 percentage. So next one is here 25 percentage that is other income 3 lakh is other income 3 lakh divided by 12 lakh into 100 3 lakh divided by 12 means 3 by 12 means 3 1 3 3 4 12 1 fourth 1 fourth in term of percentage 25,000 same as before we got here so in the next year now in the next expenses total income is total income is finished now total expenses purchase of stock in trade 7 lakh 7 lakh divided by 12 lakh 7 lakh divided by 12 lakh into 100 7 lakh is the purchase of trade stock in trade in the year 2018 so 7 lakh divided by 12 lakhs into 100 will get 58.33 58.33 next one uh, financial expenses 25000 25000 divided by 12 lakhs into 100 will get 2.08 now in the same way if you, you carry on Employees benefit expenses. Employees benefit expenses is given here one lakh fifteen thousand. So one lakh fifteen thousand here. Employees benefit expenses one lakh fifteen thousand. One lakh fifteen thousand divided by twelve lakhs into hundred will get here one lakh fifteen thousand divided by twelve lakh into hundred will get here nine point five eight. 
नेक्स्ट वन इज फोर्टी थाउजेंड फोर्टी थाउजेंड इज दियर डेप्रेशन डेप्रेशन फोर्टी थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाय ट्वेल्व लाख ट्वेल्व लाख इन टू हंड्रेड विल गेट हियर थ्री पॉइंट थ्री एट इफ यू एड दिस इफ यू एड दिस फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट थ्री थ्री टू पॉइंट जीरो एट नाइन पॉइंट फाइव एट एंड थ्री पॉइंट थ्री एट विल गेट हियर सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सेवन नाउ profit before tax 6 lakh 20 thousand is the profit before tax how do you got profit before tax 15 lakh minus 8 lakh 20 thousand 50 lakh is the total income in the year 2018 in the year 2018 total income is 15 lakhs and in the year 2018 expenses 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 total expenses is 8 lakh 80 thousand so if you see the differences 6 lakh 20 thousand is the profit before tax so the to convert this 6 lakh 20 thousand into in the in part in term of percentage here 6 lakh 20 thousand divided by 12 lakhs into 100 6 lakh 20 thousand is the profit before tax divided by revenue from operation is 12 lakh into 100 so we will get here 50 51.43 similar similarly a prop now taxes is 3 lakh 10 thousand 3 lakh 10 thousand the taxes divided by revenue from operation 12 lakhs into 100 so we will get here 25.71 Okay, so if you see the differences, so again if you see this one, three lakh ten thousand divided by twelve lakh into hundred also, you'll get the same twenty five point seven two. Twenty five point seven two. So this is how we prepare the uh, profit and loss, common size profit and loss. For the year two thousand seventeen and two thousand eighteen, it so everything is uh, similar to the previous one uh, as we have done in the common size balance sheet. But in the balance sheet, we are taking the total of the balance sheet. But here you are taking the divided by the revenue from operation. Each and every item is divided by the revenue from operation into hundred. But in the balance sheet, each and every item is divided by total of the balance sheet into hundred. So this is the difference here. So. So both are one. So there are two type of common size statement. So one is common size balance sheet and one is profit and common size profit and loss account. So this much. So I hope you have understood. You continue with your uh, problems. Go do 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 as much as you can. So you will be perfect. So it is very very easy topic. So I hope you, have, you are clear. If any doubt, you can uh, ask me. You can WhatsApp me. So I I will send you the solution. Thank you. Have a good day.